I almost forgot the camera. All right, good morning everybody. I am back out at the Triplex today. It is official. Um, the deal went through. We did an inspection there a couple days ago. Uh, well, actually now it's been about four or five days and uh, everything pretty much checked out. There's a few small little things that need to get done like uh, the front and the back patio need to be uh, stained um, because of the moisture and all that fun stuff, but uh, that needs to be done. There's a couple of plumbing things that need to be done that isn't super serious. It's just like there's an extra hot water tank, like an additional add-on that's in the way of a, an air filter that needs to be removed. And uh, there also needs to be a better seal on the sewage line um, in the bottom unit. So just a couple of things. So I managed to uh, get $2,500 off the price. Um, also got it appraised. Um, was pretty happy about that too so everything worked out gonna make some money on the deal um, I'll give you guys all the full information once I have the keys and everything is official official but all the money is sent over from the bank and all that fun stuff so we do the transaction I think on the 13th and then I get the keys on the 20th so but the reason why I'm back out here today um, is the seller also owns this place and um, she is offering to sell me this place as well. She's apparently unloading a lot of her properties. Um, so I'm gonna give you guys more information on this. I know that you guys enjoyed the process with me with this. I'm gonna see um, if she owes any money on the house, if we can do a seller financing deal. Um, and uh, also it'd be, this one would be a private sale. So no agents involved, which usually means uh, I'll get a better deal and she'll make a little bit more money too because you don't have to pay uh, She doesn't have to pay the agents um, But when I get more information on that when I go and do a walkthrough of the place um, And also see how much he wants for it. Uh, I haven't done any research on it I just came out to do a quick little walk around uh, There's people right now in the garage out back. I do believe working on a car or something so I didn't want to be a creep and go on their property, but um, once I get some permission from her and once I get a little bit more information, I will let you guys know because if I can get this at a really good price, I can continue to rent it out to whoever's in here now um, and I can continue to rent it for a while or I have the option to completely tear it down and build an identical triplex right next door. They're both zoned for R3. In fact, this entire big lot was one massive lot. There was a house where this was and it got torn down, I do believe, and they just subdivided these for two different properties. So um, this is zoned for the same for a triplex and I could just mimic it and build another one right there and have six units side by side uh, and kind of this entire area have a nice little spot and have one big parking lot and stuff like that So there's a few things I could do I don't want to get too excited because I don't know how much she's asking for it And I don't know how much it's worth. I don't know how long she's had it. I don't know how much money she owes on it uh, But you know if I could get a seller financing deal on this uh, It'd be pretty hard for me to uh, to say no if the uh, if the terms are, are good But anyway, I'll keep you guys posted on that um, Yeah, I'm gonna get some food and I uh, need to wash the car. So let's go ahead and do those things. All right guys, I actually just got back from having some sushi and I decided I wasn't gonna take the car to the car wash. I'm gonna hook up the pressure washer and wash the bad boy. Um, this is, I've showed this before, but this is what I use here, the, uh, the Chemical Guys sprayer here. Um, this is the, uh, that's the uh, soap that I use. Anyway, if you guys are interested in picking this up, uh, link will be in the description of the video. Uh, this is a very, very affordable one. There are ones that are like two or three times the price and it works great. But anyway, I'll show you guys what's up. All right, so I don't put in much soap at all. I usually put in like right around there, not much. And then I fill it with uh, warm water. And uh, that's all she wrote. And you'll see how much cleaning this little bit of soap can do. I've had this now, this is my second year. And, you know, I'm using about half a jug a year. So, pretty, pretty good value. Mm -hmm. 
normally I like to rinse down the car first but uh, yeah I got co too caught up in the uh, demonstration but normally I would soak the car first with water then put this on let it sit for a little bit and then uh, wash her down and dry her with uh, some micro gloss oh well yellow all right so while the bends is soaking down I'll show you guys my ugly ass yard um, after I'm done doing that I'm gonna take the lawnmower out and finish off this yard here uh, got a lot of it done yesterday actually the wife came out and did it she was just feeling lazy and wanted to get off the sofa so she basically did it until uh, she wasn't feeling up to it anymore seeing as though she's pregnant um, so I'm gonna finish off all back there I've got a bunch of wood over here Ugh. Got a whole bunch of wood from breaking down some of these boxes that we have in our yard. Uh, there used to be like an old garden back here. All this stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna be breaking down more of those this weekend. My parents are coming over tomorrow. So uh, we're gonna break down some of that stuff. But my yard is an absolute nightmare. And this is just the side yard. The backyard is horrendous. Uh, I've got some actually funny footage of a bear, a black bear coming uh, in the in the woods here and eating my garbage that's on the side of the house. So that was fun. Uh, we've got a few cameras back here, so we've got some really good footage. And I'll uh, show you guys that in an upcoming video. I gotta somehow get it off my DVR in the house. Um, I have it on my phone, but I don't wanna, actually, you know what, let me see. Okay, those the driveway. All right, here we go. There's there's some footage. See the bear? Look, 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 look. It's probably not zoomed in very well, but look, he's got my garbage bag, and then he literally lays down with it and sits there for over 30 minutes and eats the garbage. And then he comes back a couple days later and uh, just takes the whole garbage bag out in the woods. So yeah. There he is, just laying there. So he came out from back there. There's a lake back there. And uh, so my property line goes way back. Um, maybe I can show you guys that at some point, but bear comes through here. And actually when we were looking at the, uh, the footage, cause we noticed that our garbage was just ripped apart and the bin was like way down there and only a bear could really move something like that unless it was a person. I don't know why a person would be digging through our garbage. But uh, there was a shit ton of deers back here. There was, dude, we've seen everything back here. Coyotes, uh, my dog got wrecked by a porcupine last year. Um, all kinds of stuff. So as you can see, my backyard is an absolute shit storm of a mess. I mean, it is ugly, it's gross. My side yard is not as bad, but it's still pretty ugly and gross. And I was gonna go and do all of it this year, right? I was gonna, Bring in a contractor who's going to come in, who's going to level out all this. We're going to build a fence that will start from here to the other end there. We're going to bring out our deck that way some to make it longer. Um, we're going to do all kinds of stuff here. Put a little garden bed around that big, huge rock that's sitting in the middle of my backyard. Look at this thing. Because you obviously, I mean, I could remove this, but it'd be very expensive to do it. Plus, it's, it's actually... I think when when I put something all the way around it, it could be a nice little centerpiece of the backyard. But we're going to fence this for the dog, get rid of all this stuff. And uh, also, while well, I have you back here, we're going to level all this out, bring the uh, pavement, or we're going to pave all the way down here and build a big garage right here. So a second garage, uh, 24 by 24 and that way I could store the bends in there during the winter. Although I do put it in my current garage, but it'd be nice to have a second garage, seeing as though we have a few cars. Um, look at this also too, and we got a really bad storm. Look at how this tree went down. Isn't that crazy? Like, look at the roots. Look at that, just ripped that shit right up. Nuts. So yeah, we had to uh, saw down a whole bunch of trees I had to uh, up my insurance and get like tree coverage just in case like something fell on a car or my house or any of that stuff, but there's a ton of work. So the reason why I haven't done it this year is, well, two reasons. 
went and decided to buy that triplex so that uh, sapped up a lot of my uh, my capital and this is a big big project um, so we're probably gonna do it next year we're gonna do all this stuff and make this look presentable because right now we're like one of two people on the street that does not have a nice yard but I don't give a shit well I do care but I don't care enough to uh, break myself in the process but anyway that's my ugly ass yard if you guys are ever wondering what my uh, my yard and yeah I pretty much live in the woods so that's cool uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the lawnmower out finish off the rest of the yard um, I don't know how interesting it is for you guys to watch that, but you know, this is my life. You know, this is, this is the shit that I do on a regular basis. Like after I'm done doing that, I'm gonna bring the car back in here. I'm gonna go down in the basement. I'm gonna play video games for the next seven to nine hours. And then I'm gonna do some voice acting auditions after that. And then I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna wake up in the morning. I'm gonna go probably for a little joyride and uh, get some breakfast or whatever. My parents are gonna come over. We're gonna slap uh, down some of those boxes that I showed you. We're gonna work on the baby's room and then I'm gonna go downstairs in the basement and I'm gonna stream again for another seven to nine hours and rinse and repeat. So, you know, between the real estate stuff and the baby coming, uh, I don't really do a whole lot. I know there's some other YouTube channels out there where people are going, you know, they live in California where everybody and their dog has a Lamborghini and they're always going on these crazy road trips and stuff. Dude, I just live in bumfuck nowheresville in Canada. And this is, this is the exciting life I live. So <laughs> I apologize for the lack of uh, excitement in this video. There isn't another car show for another two weeks. And, uh, but I will say in a month, we will be going to the racetrack or I'm um, sorry, the, uh, the airstrip and uh, seeing how fast this thing can go. So we have, we'll have like a mile stretch where we can uh, see if we can get her going past 300 kilometers an hour. But yeah, that's just, this is what I do. <laughs> this is what I do, exciting stuff, huh? All right, guys, that is gonna be it for today's chores. Uh, I'm gonna go inside, drink some water, have a shower, go downstairs, stream all day and into the night, watch UFC tonight. Uh, Cody Garbrandt versus uh, TJ Dillashaw. Uh, I want Garbrandt to win. My heart is telling me uh, Dillashaw is gonna win, but who knows, could go either way. Both awesome fighters. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it for today's vlog. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. I know it wasn't a super exciting uh, day with the car and doing, you know. Listen, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm not in the business of spending hundreds or thousands of dollars every video to make a clickbait video. You know, I, I just, I'm just, I'm not into that. I'm not gonna say here's a new mod every video or every other video or whatever. This is my day-to-day -day life. Hopefully you guys uh, are enjoying the content in some way, shape, or form. And if so, hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out.